Okay, here we go. Like the title says, help, my turtle's shell is peeling. What should I be doing? Wow, shocker. And you stay and you know what? You stayed still this whole time until the video, and then you decide to act like a mad woman. Okay, well, I have a female turtle here for you guys. And um, I, we'll discuss that, and we'll go over what you should do, uh, what you shouldn't do, what you need to do, and what you don't need to do as she charges into the wall. So, turtles have one shell that is part of them, and their shell has different sections or shoots. And you can see them outlined. They're, pr they're pretty detailed, and you can follow them. You can trace them out. Now, here's a turtle that I rescued. She was in a small tank, much too small for her, and she was banging it around. And if you look at her shell, someone's going to look at this and be like, hey, this is a, this is a rough turtle. You know, there's... There's stuff wrong with her shell. She's probably sick. Um, especially if you look at her in the water, you'll see air bubbles trapped underneath her. The, her shell is just is not in good shape. But if you look at these parts, but then you look at these parts, these are much better, especially the contrast from here to here. This sh looks like nice, healthy shell. And this looks like it's dead, dying, and decayed, and, and all of the above. Well, look what I have here. Does this look familiar? In fact, if we turn her and we, we line things up, we can probably piece together exactly where it's from. Because this is a piece of the shell. Turtles shed their skin just like other reptiles and, and amphibians. Um, so when you look at her and you'll see some some bad spots or what you appear to be bad spots or even what can look like air under there well there's a reason because there is because that's dead it is dead shell but just like all these other ones it's it's getting ready to come off this is one if you look at this kind of cool one this is from a, a side piece where it clips underneath in fact i think it's from I think it's this piece right here. Yeah, it's exactly where it is because it's the only one that's off and nice and looks like it probably went. Yep, just like that. And then it comes off. So the nice thing is when these come off, nice, healthy, colored sh uh, shell under there. Now, what do you do if this is happening? Do you peel this off? Should I, should I be, you know, taking these off of my turtle? Well, there's a couple things. You should be looking in your tank if you know your turtle is shedding, because um, a lot of times these will whoop, get stuck right to the side of the, the inlet of the filter and or even wrapped around them. It depends if you've got a hang on the back or a canister filter and restrict the airflow because these are basically solid masses. I mean, you would think that they're plastic um, and it, it can last a long time before this breaks down or chips away. And also a mass as this solid getting sucked into the filter is not good now if we look at this piece this piece as you look is is all messed up and has all this damage and old and crap all over it uh, but when that comes off you get a nice healthy shell so one thing that you know i like to monitor is when the shell is shedding unlike a reptile that once they're adult size they they rarely ever shed their entire body again, except for snakes. Um, but most reptiles, they'll shed an arm, a leg, maybe their mouth, the piece of the body that needs to shed once they've hit adult. When they're growing, typically the whole body sheds. Well, turtles, kind of the same thing where you may see their arms shedding in here, the neck, but when the shell sheds, the entire shell goes into shed because the entire shell is growing with the turtle so it will shed at the same time so that's a one sign of being healthy is check out the shell does it look like the entire shed is going into shed does it look like it's in some part of the shed so here we can see this is all in shed this this one here definitely in shed because it's you know lifted off and should resist the urge people who like to pick scabs to just take this and rip it off if it's not ready now Chances are, if it's this floppy, it's probably ready. Um, and you can see, I'm just barely touching it. I, I'm not even pulling it. 
comes right off and you've just got healthy shell underneath. But most of the time you shouldn't do that. You should look for that though. So like that piece was only held on because it was connected to this piece of stuck shut up here. So you do want to look, but you don't want to get in here and scrape and remove. A lot of the times, guys, they'll just fall off in the water when they're ready to come off. Um, but just make sure that the entire shell is in some stage of shed, either shed and good, about to fall off, halfway falling off, you know, just as long as it's going in one set or another, your turtle is doing good. Uh, look underneath, same thing. So they shed the belly. Um, so we can see belly getting ready, lifted up here, getting ready to come off, and you'll see a nice uh, good pattern underneath when this whole thing comes off, which is really good, right? It's also important, guys, to pet your turtle. Make sure they're really habituated because turtles are, are good pets. You can pick them up. You can pet them. They like to be pet. They feel this. It's really good. Anyways, I wanted to make that video because I saw some people saying this this plastic, I found plastic floating in my cage or in my tank. No, not plastic. I found it up on the, the dock. Nope, not plastic. Or, oh, my turtle's dying. The shell, the shell is coming apart. No, not. Just shedding. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Take care. You want to say goodbye? No? Okay, that's fine.